Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In today's video, now we are going to dive into the fascinating world of deep fakes, okay, where technology meets creativity. You know, so you may be wondering what exactly is a deep fake, right? So deep fakes are incredibly realistic videos that blend AI and computer vision techniques to superimpose one person's face onto another's. It's like having the you know power to seamlessly swap faces in a video, opening up a whole new world of possibilities for filmmakers, mainly content creators, or even the curious among us. Okay, but you know the best part about this video is that we are going to leverage a tool that has been you know released recently called Roop. Okay, you can see I'm currently on their GitHub repository. Okay, and we are going to run this tool completely on a CPU machine. You know, and we'll talk about the dependencies and you know the backend engine that helps helps us run this tool on a CPU machine. Okay, we are going to use Onyx runtime, for example, O N N X, and right, so if you have a GPU, you know it's that's great. But if you do not have a GPU, you, know, you don't need a right, uh, high-end GPU or extensive training data for this one. If you read it, it says, take a video and replace the face in it with a face of your choice. You only need one image of the desired face. No data set, no training. That's fascinating. That's that's outstanding. Okay, this is not the, this is not the first tool when we talk about deep fake. There have been you know multiple tools and libraries and models that you know even I have created some videos. You know if you see this video talking AGI with Sam Altman, I have created an entire conversation, you know entire interview. Okay, with the deep fake technologies. And if you if you are interested, please go ahead and watch this video on my YouTube channel. Then later on, I also created this video. Okay, let me show you. Digital identity. Where also I have created, you know, deep fake combining mid journey, which is an image generation platform, voice cloning, chat GPT, and digital ID. Okay, so I have already created some videos on my YouTube channel. Please go ahead and watch that if you are interested, you know, to create deep fakes by combining those technologies. Okay, but today we are going to utilize this tool called Roop. Okay, credit goes to the creators, the owner, but credit also goes to if you come down deep inside before i start showing you how you can configure it in your machine or how you have to run it first we have to give credit to deep insight who have this project called insight face if you see currently i'm on the github repository they basically you know provide a state of the art 2d and 3d face analysis okay so if you come down okay you can just figure it out here as well they have multiple models you know they have good documentation as well so this tool that we are going to use is not a something that somebody has created from scratch. Again, it is built on again on the open source uh, with, with the help of open source community. You can see the credit has given to Deep Insight for their Insight Face project, which provided a well-made library and models. Okay, and then we have a couple of other credits that we can give it to. So here are some demos that you can see. It's extremely, you know, fascinating to see that. It's very good if you go with the demo. But how we how how are we going to set set it up, guys? Okay, in your CPU machine, if you come down here is the installation. You can go. We have to go on the wiki tab of the GitHub repository, and on wiki tab you will see here is the installation. You need Python to run this as a programming language. The most important thing that you need is Microsoft Visual C++ 14. So if you do not have, you have to go here and you have to get that. Okay, so and install it. Here is Microsoft Visual C++ because C++ distributables are the dependencies for this particular tool that you are seeing. Okay, if you don't have Visual C++, it will give you error perhaps. Okay, there's uh, and I think you know you can download it the community version of it. Okay, you can download it from the uh, community there. Okay, uh, Microsoft and you can just you know you can download the extension and then you can double click and install whatever dependencies you required you can select and install it so then you have to first clone this repository you can see you can clone it from here okay, i already have cloned it let me just show you what i'm talking about if i if you come over here you can see i have a folder called root main i already have cloned it i already have created a virtual environment currently you can see i am in this root main you know v and let me just clear it you can see i am inside this root main folder i have activated my virtual environment and let me just go to code dot also in vs code there are some dependencies and you know if you that you'll find in the requirement txt so if you come on requirement txt you need onnx onx 
that helps you you know run this on a cpu machine that's basically happening through onux runtime now there are multiple methods guys there are quantization pruning there are multiple methods where you know when where you basically make the weights of the models or architecture that you have trained you reduce the weights there you tweak the floating point etc to make the model size little you know uh, how would i put it little low so it can run on a cpu machine and that's for that you need onux we need inside face that requires c++ dependencies and then we have torch you know it's a uh, pillow etc for image manipulation and all that's the requirement txt and this is the run.py okay that gets from code.global okay that's the file that it's loading from if you come to code.global if you if you are not using gpu uh, you gpu you import onux runtime and then you would run it from there okay so this is the run.py file that we have to run so what you have to do guys you have to first create the virtual environment install using pip install let me just show you pip install hyphen r requirements txt requirements txt and you can install it like this i already have installed it so i will not do that let's me first run and show you so what i have to do python run.py this is what you have to do when you hit python run.py you can see it says applied providers it's looking at on which machine you are on a cpu or a gpu when when you are running it for the first time it will download the model weights and something so it will take time you know when you are running it for the first time so you know, please keep patience there okay when you are doing it even on a cpu machine and on cpu machine it takes a little time please don't tweak this limit frames per second to 30 if you don't know how does this work maybe you can go through the uh, repository and understand it better so if if you see see this this is a gui application okay you have a select a face and select a target okay and status you can see waiting for input the first thing that you have to do you have to select a face the face that you want to you know swap in the video okay that's the face that you have to and then you have a target video or image that you need okay so let me first do a, a select a face here okay maybe what we can do let me just show you so on desktop i will, maybe i can take elon face is here you can see i have taken elon elon musk face okay and let me show you a video that i am going to try so if you come on right, download i have a video called output juke that i downloaded from his facebook right. account this mark zuckerberg this is a major evolution for whatsapp and it's something that i've been really focused on for the last year now if you think about all the so you can see it's around 20 seconds 25 seconds of video i'm just going to use it so when you have to what you have to do now you have to select a target so when you click on select a target either you can have an image if you want to do the face tapping on image and you can also have a video a smaller video guys a small size video otherwise it will take a lot of time and it might crash also now what i'm going to do i'm going to click on output juke and i'll just click open once i do that now you'll see your face that you want to swap on this target video okay now just click on start once you click on start it asks ask you where do you want to save the file so i'll say okay output final something like this and save it here once you click on that now what you have to do you have to come here in the terminal and keep a track of it it will take little time okay because you are on a cpu machine okay it hardly takes so for example if you have a 25 seconds video and if you have you know for example 16 gb of ram and a good ssd of uh, even on hdd it takes around guys 1 to 2 minutes okay to uh, give you the final output video it will store it there so let's let's see that okay and i can see it's coming from those uh, core folder guys if you see core folder they have files like globals config processor utils etc which gives you all these log messages and verbos etc in the terminal that you can keep a track on it okay so let me do one thing guys i will pause the video here okay and i will come back once it is done so you can see guys that the swap is successful now we have got our final output that has been you know saved on desktop output final mp4 okay so if you come here on the desktop you will see this file output final all right where in my green shirt today to celebrate and now you can see right elon musk face has been you know more of key like you can see that it has been swapped with mark zuckerberg the original video if you see let me first show you the original video also and just see the quality of it if you are not seeing side by side you know it will be very difficult for you to find it out if that's a, a right, fake video see this is a mark zuckerberg video communities okay. on whatsapp this is a 
and here goes the video that right, we have got. You see Elon Musk video. Okay. So you can do it for guys any other video though as well. Okay, if you want to create some artistic, you know, uh, you know, uh, video there, you want to uh, replicate someone's persona, you can also do that. Okay, with uh, with the help of this GUI. Okay, that Roop, the tool that we have. You know, and you can try it out with. You know, you can also do key frames directory if you want to save frames also. If you come over here on this, you will find the uh, all the documentation that they have given how to run it on a GPU one base. I have shown you on the CPU machine. This is how you have to install at run it off. Okay. And about frame per second directory, etc. You can found, find out all the arc arguments here. How you can utilize this arc if you want to tweak it out. And they are also currently extending this guys. Okay, the tool. Okay, so this is not the first tool of deep fake there are, there are multiple tools but this tool is at least will get you started it's very easy but and you can see it right with the output that we have got you can do it for images as well if you want to do it on image as well okay so let me just bring this screen you also want if you want to donate to the project you can also donate it guys this is what i wanted to cover in this video guys okay this tool called roop that helps you create deep fakes you know with with ease Okay, but you know before you know we sign off i want to emphasize the importance of using deep fakes responsibly and ethically you know while they can be you know a powerful creative tool like roop you know it's it's crucial to respect privacy you know if you are if you want to seek somebody consent please seek their proper consent and avoid any harm or misrepresentation let's you know use this AI technology as a force for good and continue to push the boundaries of artistic expression. You know, that's all for you know uh, this video, guys. That's a wrap. You know, for today's deep fake adventure, I will say with Roop. I hope you enjoyed exploring the the tool. If you want to create other deep fakes, as I already have covered in you know in the beginning, you can you know also have a look at the other deep fake videos that I have created. You know, this one talking AGI with Sam Altman and then digital identity. You can also have a look at that and I will give the link of Roop in the description and maybe I can also share the output that I have got. This output that we have received, you know, the final output of Elon right, Musk face has been strapped with Mark Zuckerberg on the video. Okay. On so is that's all for today's video guys. If you have any thoughts or feedback or you know if you do some amazing stuff with this Roop, please let me know in the comment box. Okay. So that's all for today's video guys. You know, I, if you like the video, please give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, do subscribe the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.